talked to them there, I think they were about 15 of them, they said, you know, they already had no place to stay, they found this place to stay, and the city came and threw away all their papers, all their belongings, just wanted to hear reactions to that. No, that wasn't in Bushwick, that was in, uh, uh, Fort Greene area. We're talking about on Hall Street and Flatbush Avenue. Or was that another location? Yeah, yeah, that's that's Hall Street and Flatbush Avenue. And I went out there Saturday night. That's what we were just talking about. I was there Saturday night, speaking with all the migrants that were there, and communicating with uh, with them. And we had a great conversation. I'm going back to see them again, and some of them are going to come meet me at City Hall uh, because there was something very revealing that came out of that conversation. Listen, we are not going to have tents and encampments on our streets. That's not happening. Once you start that, you're going to see what happened in San Francisco, California, uh, other places. That is not happening in New York. I said this last year that I was removing the tents and encampments off our subway system, off our streets. Many of you said it was not possible, but as you move around the city, you don't see it. I know what's happening in other cities. I visited there. We're not having that here in New York. Now, will there come a day that we're going to have to find locations where we're going to have to have uh, migrants go to? We're going to have to look at that because we have reached our capacity. And so when I went there personally to speak with those men who were there at the Hall Street location, communicated with them, we're able to get them back into, inside of the shelter system and find a shelter for them. Uh, we were able to communicate, and that's what a leader do. A leader leads from the front. You know what else? You know what else I discovered at that um, when I spoke with them? Some of them were engineers. Uh, some of them were uh, mechanics. They were professionals, uh, th and they only wanted one thing. They said, "We want to work. We want to work." What is more anti-American than coming to America and you can't work? That's what we all should be talking about. This is so anti-American that someone can come to our country. People want to say six months. It's not six months. You could be here for almost two years and you told that you can't work. All of us, all of our ancestors came somewhere. Think about if your ancestors were unable to work when they came to America. Think about it. Imagine what the impact is that they won't, you wouldn't be here right now doing what you're doing. But we're telling these group of migrants from Venezuela, South America, Ecuador, uh, Africa, uh, Haiti, uh, uh, Russian, uh, there was a Russian speaking person that came to speak with me. We're telling them all, you have to be here for a minimum of six years, it could be two years, and you can't provide for your family. And that is not what they're asking for. And so, you know, listen, I told everyone last year, this migrant crisis is going to come to a neighborhood near you. That day has arrived. It's going to come to every one neighborhood. There are meetings all over the city. South Jamaica, Queens had a meeting the other day. People on the Upper West Side is having a meeting. Uh, everyone is meeting now. They should have met last year when I said we need to get this under control. People need to focus their attention to Washington, D.C. National problem should be a national solution. It should not be New York City's solution. And this is not going to get any better. It's going to get worse before it gets better if we don't get help from the national government. Mr. Mayor, yes, sir.